Hello and welcome to Learn English with Wordle for Wednesday the 9th of March 2022. I hope you are keeping well today. Um, it's our word guessing game and where you might actually learn something as well if you are a non-native speaker. Uh, here's an interesting word because it's got three vowels in it and an S. So I think this is a pretty good way to start. Um, now, uh, wh what is it? Well, it's a countable noun and it means the place to walk between uh, rows of seats. <coughs> Excuse me. So, for example, <coughs> when you get on an aeroplane, if you can still get on an aeroplane these days for travel, uh, the middle part where you walk between the seats is called the aisle. And of course, uh, in a traditional church, um, Christian church, they talk about the aisle being the uh, space between the pews and uh, an idiom walk down the aisle means get married okay now let's see if any of these letters are involved in today's game not a single one of them <laughs> that's a <laughs> that's an interesting start isn't it okay great uh it's not the a it's not the e it's not the i so it's possibly an o and a u um there's no s either at the end um, I know I thought of something uh, that might be interesting, but it's not that either. There's no E, hmm. No L, not can't be couple. I'm um, thinking about how we can get the O and the U in there. Okay, here's a good idea. Uh, how about the word found? That doesn't use any letters we've had before. Um, and it also has the O and the U, so we've got to get at least one of our vowels here. And because uh, that will be all five vowels in two words, won't it? Um, found, of course, the past tense of find the verb when you meet, when you actually get something. Uh, here's uh, something to watch out for if you're learning English. Uh, when you are trying to find something, don't say I'm finding something, say I'm looking for. And then when you found it, you can say, I'm, so I'm looking for my door keys. Oh, I've found them is what you often hear in my house as I often lose my keys and I've put them, mislaid them somewhere. Right. The O is in the right place. There is no U. Hmm. So... I don't think that the N can be the first letter because if N is the first letter, we are likely to need another vowel later in the word uh, with the possibility of Y, I suppose, uh, as, a, as acting as a vowel. That, that is a possibility. Um, but I think that the N is likely to be the third letter. So I need to scribble down the letters now to help me uh, assess the situation. Hold on a second. So we've got dash O, I think probably an N next, and then dash dash. And let's see what's available. W, R, T, Y. Yes, possibly the Y. P, G, H, J, K. We'll forget X and Z for the moment. C. V, I guess, B, and M. We could have another N as well, I suppose. I suppose there could be more than one N, couldn't there? Um, yeah, possibly. All right, let's see. Does anything look good there? Actually, the word bunny springs to mind. B-O-N-N-Y. But I think that that's not the correct spelling, is it? Because bunny, I think, is B-O-N-N-I-E. If it's an adjective to mean, you know, a Scottish adjective to mean, aha, good. <laughs> um, so I don't think that's it. <laughs> I can think of a, a, a very rude word, but I won't include that in today's explanation. No, can't have honey because there's no E.
or indeed money because there's no E. We could have month, M-O-N-T-H. That's possible, of course, countable noun because there are 12 of them from January to December. Uh, and of course, we sometimes talk about lunar months as well. Oh, 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 oh. yay, yay, love it. Okay, 40 plays, 40 wins. That is an inspired guess from just two letters. But you could see the N couldn't come at the first letter because we would have needed, oh, I didn't think we could um, put the N as the first letter. We would have surely needed another vowel, uh, although the Y was possible there somewhere at the end. That's a great guess. Okay, lucky, I think, there. I wasn't expecting that to be your case. Okay, great. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.